Welcome back. So we, when we last left off, we need to assign a class to our body to detect whether we're on the home page or on a single posting. So within the body, let's do this. Um, let's totally get rid of the body tag. And instead, we're going to use PHP. So I'm going to type PHP echo. We're going to say we're going to use the ternary operator. So let me type this, and then I'll explain it to you. Um, it's single, then body class equals single. Okay, I think that's correct, yeah. So echo, we, the ternary form is basically just a quicker way to write an if-else statement. So we're saying if is single. This is a WordPress function that determines if the page that you're on is a single posting. So there are other ones. There's is home. Uh, there's many. And once again, going to the WordPress codex will give you a full list. In this case, we want to find out if it's a single posting. That is single. So if that's true, then question mark means then, uh, colon means else. So then echo out body class equals single. Otherwise, just echo out a normal body tag. So let's save that. And I'm going to go back to Firefox and let's check it. Refresh the page. And let's find out. Inspect. Actually, let's just go to body. And you can see the class of single was applied. All right. Also, I'm sorry, let me clean this up. Let's go back home. And now if we view it, body does not have a class. So successfully, that was a really easy way to, its, to apply different stylings. So we need, to add, we need to add a little more CSS to clean this up. So let's find a good place, sidebar. After sidebar, I'm going to add a new section, and this is going to be for single posts. Or we can just say, um, yeah, I think that's fine, single posts. And what I'll do here is first we'll start by doing body with a class of single div with an ID of post item. So now we're just essentially targeting uh, the paragraph tags, but only those of where the body has a class of single. So essentially only within that single post area. And we've set the font style to normal. Because if you remember on the main section, the font style is italic. And we don't want that for the whole tutorial. There we go. And now it's not italic anymore. So next, I want to add just some generic formatting, uh, like unordered lists and things like that, just in case we use them in our postings. So we could do single uh, post item. UL. And we're going to say margin 1M on the top and bottom. And then the color is going to be 7E7E7E. E, e, seven, e, seven, e. All right. And then let's do another one, single post item. And then all the list items there are padding left, so 1M. And, you know, this is just kind of default formatting for when we use unordered lists in our postings. List style. This disk line, and I could probably move this up to the top if we need to. So if we come back, we still need this. We have this weird issue where, if you see that little red background, that is our meta information. So we must have reset the margin by accident. So let's just add it back on for single posts. Post, and I need to make sure I type that correctly. Post item, and then it's going to be P with the class of meta, right? And let's just set the margin left to 230 pixels and see if that fixes it. Because I'm not sure. Yeah, there it goes. And I think that's just fine for now. So we go to home. We have one set of formatting. And then we click on a post. And it brings us to another set. All right. So now I want to show you the comments. And we're going to do that in the next lesson.